Welcome to another J Crazy News headlines in a special Tuesday night to those who are watching this news broadcast. Now to my viewers and my subscribers, we head towards Linstead St. Catherine where there were two murders recorded. Now the first one took place in the Sunnyside district of Linstead St. Catherine where a man known as Mark Walker was found at his home with multiple gunshot wounds. Now based on information around 10 p.m. last night, residents in the community heard of explosions. Person got to the scene, on arrival, they went to the house of Mr. Walker. It was observed that Mr. Mark Walker received multiple gunshot wounds to his body, where he was found in his bedroom. It was also observed that perpetrators forced their way in the house by kicking down the door. Now so far there is no motive as to why Mr. Walker was murdered. The police are investigating. Now we head towards Recess Hill in Treadways, St. Catherine where a burnt body of a man was found this afternoon. Now based on information a large massive fire was seen now the police was called on arrival they found the body of a man burnt in a car now so far there's no motive as to why he was murdered the police are investigating boy may i tell you sad sad case in Lidstead, st catherine can you imagine Lidstead was a quiet era of st catherine but you know, no place in Jamaica that is quiet, stay quiet for too long. The police are investigating. Now we head towards the parish of Westmoreland, where this morning in Whitehall, Negril, Westmoreland, a man was shot and killed by criminal elements at his home. Now his name is 24-year-old Brandala Hall, a.k.a. She, of a Whitehall district in Negril, Westmoreland. Now, based on information, around 3.20 a.m. this morning, Brandon Hall just entered his home when he observed a motorcycle with two men on board. Now, being observed what took place, the men on the motorcycle rode in a lane near to his home. Now Hall came out and went to the men who were on the motorcycle. Now shortly after, Hall was seen lying the roadway in a pool of blood. Believe that he got gunshot wounds to his head and also his shoulders. His body was taken to the Savanamar Hospital, where he was pronounced dead. So far, there is no motive as to why he was killed. The police are investigating. Now, the fact that Hall saw a two men on the motorcycle and he went to them and shortly after he was found murdered means that he knew the killers and they could very well be his so-called friends. Now we don't know what transpired but had a disagreement but certainly his life was taken by these criminals. Now you know in Jamaica whenever there's a holiday or festive seasons road fatalities always go up. Yes man, always go up and Jamaicans seem to die a lot in road crashes during times like these. Now a father and son lost their life in a road fatal crash in Portland, Jamaica. Now this took place along the Fairy Hill Main Road in Portland, Jamaica last night. Now dead is David Woolery who was age 53 and also his son 
Jadon Woolery, age six. There's a picture of the father and son. Now, based on information, around 10 18 pm last night, David was driving a grey Suzuki Swift along the roadway with his son and also his daughter, who's in hospital still in serious condition where a driver of a Toyota Corolla attempted to overtake the vehicle that David was driving which resulted into a collision. Police were called to the scene and arrival David and his son and his daughter was taken to the hospital where David and Jadon were pronounced dead. Now the daughter is still in the hospital in serious condition. The driver of that Toyota Corolla was warned for possible prosecution for this deadly crash of speeding. Now I tell you, you know, during holidays such as Easter weekend, Christmas, New Year's, you have to be vigilant on the roads in Jamaica because you have some Jamaicans, them just like they just don't care. It's like they're on drugs, that they are on the influence of alcohol. Non-stop speeding. And most time, them not go nowhere. But these crashes during these holidays, you always see a large amount of intake when it comes down to alcohol and you can be going on your way and you are killed because of these drunk drivers these persons who are speeding now we head towards royal flat manchester where last night a 21 year old young man lost his life Vi Road Crash. Now dead is 21 year old Nicardo Skill, aka Young Meach, who is a resident of the land settlement community near Royal Flat. Now, based on information, around 7 15 pm last night, Skill was driving his Toyota Mark X along the roadway where they failed to negotiate a corner where the vehicle hit into an embankment and overturned. He was removed from the motor vehicle and taken to the hospital where he was pronounced dead. Now the cause of the crash is because of speeding therefore the car lost control and this young man 21 years of age lose him life me tell you now if jamaicans are not dying by the gun the knife or the machete they are dying by alcohol or speeding you know that road fatalities are the second highest causes of jamaicans being killed yearly now we head towards St. Catherine where last night in a section of St. Catherine a young lady lost her life via motorcycle crash now her name is Trisha now her boyfriend who was right off the bike also lost her life Trisha was a pillion on the bike. Now, based on information, they were coming from an event when they both lost their life by a motorcycle crash. Sad, sad case. Once again, Jamaicans, please ride, drive carefully. Speed kills. What me tell us say, Jamaicans don't follow rules and regulation. I said yesterday in the video 
that Jamaicans we see a sign. Say caution, crocodile habitat, and them still going to the water. Jamaicans, they are just stubborn and they just don't give a damn. And when problem take them, they were the first to ball out. Jesus, Jesus, help me. Me go dead, Jesus, Jesus. But you don't realize because they are so stubborn and wicked, they always pay the price. J Crazy, again until then, for blessed and safe, Tuesday night. Yeah man, I'm here see a black legend. I'm here represent for J Crazy YouTube reviewing channel. So watch, like, comment, subscribe, and share out the thing. J Crazy YouTube reviewing channel. We review news and entertainment. Celebrity monster movements are flow. J Crazy my play with him and review the thing. Then J Crazy YouTube reviewing channel. We review news and entertainment. Celebrity lifestyle movements are flow. J Crazy my play with him and review the thing. Then. Review the thing then, review the thing then Jack Crazy Reviewing news, entertainment and celebrity lifestyle Review the thing then, review the thing then Jack Crazy